listen, listen. We all, it is what it is, right? Disconnecting. You're in need of reprieve. Take some much needed time alone, right? You got to do this alone for healing and rejuvenation. And then you've got transformation. This is death energy. Um, you know, that's why I'm feeling the tower and the moon and the magician. It's like you got to change something. So you are shedding layers of your life. Some relationships and external factors that no longer serve your highest purpose must be must fade away. And so this is why the disconnecting. So some of these people who you are connected, this could be friends, family, and actually a person, right? A person you were in a relationship with for a lot of you. Um, this is to transform. They no longer are in alignment with your highest good. So let's see what you need to allow. I allow, I allow myself to live the life that makes me happy. Yes. Now you get to find your happiness, but this requires you to commit to what that means to redefine again, when relationships are no longer in alignment. And so the tower comes in and sweeps, you know, a lot of these people we've engaged with, and it's for a reason It's because our soul needs an elevation and a change. So let's see what you need to surrender. Leo. Now yeah, surrender to prayer. You know, this is um, definitely a time to find faith. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and, so, and, answers and support will arrive. Just know, um, Leo, this is temporary, right? When we go, it, it's, it feels like forever. And this will take, this will take as long as you remain attached to what you are, right? You know, we, we, as the alchemizers of our lives, we can decide how long we sit in emotions and in situations. And that's the transmutation, right? That's how we change things. And so let's see what your main spread is going to give us as well, Leo. My energy is for Leo. Okay, spirit. One more. That was the Ace of Swords. All right, so we've got Four of Wands, Foundation Achievement. I think you're reestablishing this. For some of you, this was a marriage, a relationship. So um, something in your foundation was obviously shaken. Wow, and there goes the devil. I swear to God, I literally like shuffled all these cards. I just did Scorpio, and you've already got the devil here, and so did Scorpio and base chakra so again stability our root chakra and things are changing in your physical life so your foundation either you guys lost something um we do have six of wands victory success but this is also your energy your leo so this is about persevering in order to get out of this you've gotta you've gotta find it within leo and this is gonna take time um i know this is a tough reading um as, as, as much as I wish I can always give happy dandy readings, but those are, that's just not the connection I hold. I hold connection and, and frequency that really transforms the soul. So if you come to my read, that's what you're going to get here. Um, so let's see what's going on with this foundation and achievement. This four of wands. Oh, Jesus, is too much there. Wait. Four of wands. I think I saw the death before that. Give me one of those four of wands. Four of Wands. Okay. So I have three of Pentacles, the Hermit, the Lovers, and the Devil. Oof. This is a bondage. Three of Pentacles, the Hermit for the Four of Wands, the Hermit with the Lovers, and the Devil. And overall, here, the Lovers.
So Leo. There's a lot to think about this connection because you've got the devil here. There's a strong bond attachment to a connection and it's constantly recycling this energy. I think at this point, Spirit wants you to know you've got more wisdom and you know what you need to do. I think you've been I think there's an energy of resistance, which is why we have the transformation. You are shedding layers of your life. Some relationships and external factors that no longer serve you, your highest purpose. Hermit can see that. But there's an energy of constantly trying to work things out. Three of Pentacles. Even though you see it. Um, and so there seems to be an energy of not willing to accept. So let's see this Hermit spirit. Yeah, Five of Swords. <laughs> Four of Wands again. This unwillingness to take your loss. This could be due to some pride. Um, but in order for things to change, the loss needs to be taken. And um, it's going to require some patience from, from your part. Yep, patience, Knight of Pentacles. Things will change. And the star, the healing is necessary. The disconnecting is necessary. So this is for a reason. This disconnecting, this ending is for a reason. Give me more of this double. Why the double? Knight of Wands, Two of Pentacles. So your person could have been juggling, you know, um, cheater. I feel like we're going to have to get some shadow cards for this read because of, of the way this energy is. Um... There is an energy of juggling or, um, um, oh my God, emotionally inconsistent, emotionally inconsistent, emotionally impulsive, I feel. Um, nothing was ever balanced with this connection. Nothing was ever consistent with this connection, but yet we held on and that's the bondage, the lovers and the devils. And yet we tried with the three of pentacles and yet... We saw the same thing with the hermit, but we kind of blinded ourselves, hoping things would change. Um, but this isn't going to change my Leos. It's not. Give me one of the space chakra. Now the tower. How did I know I was going to see the tower? This was this was this was divinely guided. The King of Swords. This had to happen. This detachment energy, King of Swords. Yep. The world in the bottom. This needed to happen. You need to really reestablish what you put your cups, your water to, your emotions to, what you apply. Um, you're going to have to detach and really nurture your space right now uh, and, and accept things for what it is. Give me more of this King of Swords. Not being stubborn. Yep, the Ace of Swords. I knew it. You know how I told you guys I saw the Ace of Swords? And there you go, Leo. Um, strength card. You gotta find your voice. You've gotta be honest with yourself. You've gotta drop the pride. You've gotta also um, the ego. The ego here. I feel a stuck energy with this King of Swords, but this clarity is needed. Give me more of this tower. This tower was definitely for a reason. Yeah. I'm like, ah. Oh. Devil and the Six of Pentacles. That this this relationship was not going to change. It was never a, a reciprocating relationship. It, they were takers. Someone was a taker here. Someone was clearly a taker. Inconsistent. Never meaning their words. Impulsive. Um, one day they said one thing, and the next day they did another. You tried, tried, tried to try. This is a per this is a real connection that I feel like. You tried way too many times and this is like done. You got to persevere. You got to find the strength to get out of this and really change things. Um, getting more victory and success. Really connect with your higher self. Getting more victory and success. Yeah. Talk about move on. The world, the six of swords and the moon. There are fears here of the unknown. 
and that you need to work on eight of pentacles i would say your person um you guys know who it is but i'm sorry this is this is leo's read uh, when i do my general reads i speak to the sign itself i'm not speaking to anyone around that's for you to decide if it's the other as if it's an energy around you you know but scorpio so please don't take my reading personally this is a reading we're too grown for this i mean leo's i'm sorry you know scorpio had this kind of similar energy i don't know what's going on with this energy but some of you could be dealing with scorpio oof but you got capricorn energy here virgo gemini air sign energy obviously strong capricorn you guys very subtle but i just think the devil energy is really about the energy it's time for you to persevere this it's time for you to conquer this and finally accept things for what they are it's time for you to spend time alone spirit's not kidding it's time for you to be alone to disconnect to heal to reprieve to rejuvenate in order for you to get the clarity you need to get the understanding you need you gotta surrender to prayer and then i allow myself to live the life that makes me happy you've got to find what makes you happy because this is not a happy energy my leo's no no it's not let me pull um this shadow for this devil what is this the shadow of this devil what's the shadow here for this devil spirit Thank you. what's the shadow of this devil So we have first card that came out with sneaky behavior, Oof. witchcraft. Someone is casting spells to control a situation. Oh wow! Uh, Leo's, you guys know manipulation. They say one thing but do another. Give you mixed messages. That's what I said. You know, they, they're not, they're inconsistent. They, they tell you they're going to do something, they don't commit. It's never a consistent, this is not a consistent behavior. So they say one thing and do another, give you mixed messages. And more sneaky behavior, seduction. They are trying to seduce you. Hopefully it's not just physical. Oh yeah, it's physical. The lovers and the devil, no wonder. Leo, this could be you because I mean, I mean, everyone knows Leo's sex game. i oh, sorry, Leo, but... <sighs> you guys know when you guys meet a, a spicy one that matches your sexual energy you're hooked you're like <clears throat> very hooked and someone can wheel you in very quickly just by this this shadow aspect of you um which is it's really from the ego but this is a no bueno energy Right here we have bottom of the text manipulation. They'll let you speak first to look for weaknesses and establish a baseline. Yeah, this is not an easy person. You got to find a way and really release this energy. There's time to spend alone. So let's see what's the guidance for you, Leos. What is the guidance for Leo for the month of February? Leos, this is supposed to be the love month. What is this? I mean, you might just be crazy because if the sex game is that much, you guys might just go and hook up with your, your cray cray for a little bit. No offense, but I mean, you do what you want, but soul connections. Yeah, you have met a person who you feel a deep connection with. I really just think it's that sex. But obviously you tried. There was a lot of love. You know, there was a love here at some point, but it's no longer good. It's toxic now. This has been a lesson, I really feel. This could be a soul, this could be your soulmate, karmic soul, or even your twin flame. You were destined to meet so you can learn life lessons, right? These connections teach us lessons. And at this point, it's time to shed layers of your life. You're shedding layers. It's a, it's a release now. This is not always easy. No, it will not, but it will be worth it. Treasure these people because they are rare. I mean, you may not want to treasure them now, but you know, eventually you'll be one day you'll tell your story and be like, one day. And you look back and be like, I really grew a lot from that connection. 
And so here, surrender. This situation asks you to surrender to the divine plan. Yep, surrender to prayer. Let go of control and watch your life return to a peaceful state. Um, you need time. You need peace. There's there's peace in your life needed, my Leo. So let's see what your abundance. There has to be some abundance coming in. Spirit. What is the abundance energy for our Leos for the month of February? What do we need them to know? Of course you fly away. So we've got savings. You know, for some of you, this bondage could be because someone can't leave because of finances, you know? Maybe a business together or something. As you consistently save your for your future, your future is saved. You do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds. This is a part of your self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose. I also am hearing savings of time. So I think at this point, it's time to save yourself some heartache and some time. And your future self will, will you're doing a big favor to your future self. You really are. So um, let me get one more guidance for you, Leos. Again, with connections, you guys. So this is cosmic connections are the souls that help us develop and can change the course of our path. Listen, you know, I think this is one of those things people tend to, um, you know, as you dive into relationships for a while, you know, you start realizing the lessons. All your connections are meant to help you grow. And the close, the more you grow within, the more closer you get to a real genuine connection. Because this is about really coming home to ourselves, coming home to our soul. And so, you know, cosmic connections are the souls that help us develop and can change the course of our path. It, it will. This is, your life is not going to be the same, right? That's, that's, that's what Spirit is trying to tell you. Like, it's time to change the course of your path with this, um world and six of swords and the moon to just not fear the unknown and just you know run with it it's part of the process and having to cycle this same energy out again and again see it for what it is but also it's time to move on so my leos i love you this was this was hard um but please like share subscribe